Well, this is James, WA7JNJ, here at Little Mountain at the North Overlook. And wanted to kick off a video series really for those that are newer to soda, uh, just starting, and uh, to have a guidebook or a little bit of a plan on how to do that. I've had a few people uh, reach out and mention that they were going to try and do their first soda this year. And I've been thinking about this for a while and would like to, to finally kick that off. So. My goal is to walk through just some of the resources to start today um, and then how to choose your first summit, how to activate the summit, uh, how to do it on two meter VHF or UHF, HF, different antennas that I like, then how to, to log your activation in the system and uh, just other resources and ways to map it and look at it. So uh, that is the goal. The first thing is to go to the main SOTA website. There's a link on the SOTA website for joining in, and that's a great place to start. There's information there, including rules that you can click on and link to there. Another link is SOTA Watch, and that's an important web page for when you're going to let people know when you're going to activate a summit or when you're on a summit, and so people know your frequency and, and know where you're at. The SOTA database link is where you're going to log your activation. So after you're done with your first activation, that's where you're going to go and put those contacts in. SOTA mapping has a lot of great map information. I like to go there uh, to look at my activations and see where the contacts that I made and some of the maps on that page. There's also the SOTA reflector, and so that's a good spot to see information from other activators or chasers and just great information there. The other website that I like a lot is sottle.as or Sotless. Uh, you go there, there's a mapping page and that'll uh, zoom in and you can look at all the summits around your area. There's dots and the color codes for the points of the summit. And so you'll, you'll learn that, but you can look there to see the summits around your area. Uh, you can zoom in to see the information about how often they've been activated and a lot of information there that I'll go into uh, in the future on how to choose your first summit. You can also post spots and alerts and there's other great information on Sotless as well. When you click on a summit in Sotless or also on the SOTA mapping page, it'll bring you to that page's summit information. Within the summit page, it'll tell you the points of the summit, the coordinates, the elevation, all the key things for the summit. You'll also see how many times it's been activated, uh, the frequencies that are usually used, uh, or that people usually use on that summit. And so you can get a lot of great information there. You don't have to create an account to start, but if you'd like to, you can do that from the Sotless webpage, and that'll take you back to the main SOTA account to sign up. That password and account is very easy and quick and that'll give you access to most of those tools that we mentioned. The reflector, I believe, still has its own password, so the SOTA reflector uh, would be the only separate one. A great Northwest resource is pnwsoda.org. A lot of activators will post information there in blogs on the summits that they've activated. There's information on there about your first summit, uh, some good options for your first summit in the area. There's also a newsletter that you can get signed up to and get information from local events. There's also Facebook groups and different things in the area. I know in this area there's one for PNW soda activators. There's also the main soda Facebook page or a couple of them. So there are different groups. Uh, if you'd like to, to join those groups and see what's going on in the area, you're sure welcome to do that as well. Excited to start this series and hope it helps as you start your soda journey whether you're new or whether you've been doing this for a little while. 73, WA7, JNJ.